affect the planets and moons of our solar system and the clouds of gas and dust that surround newly forming stars. Some infrared radiation reaches through the atmosphere to telescopes on mountaintops. But most infrared energy travels billions of miles through space to be absorbed by water in the Earth's atmosphere less than 10 miles above the ground-based observatories. Infrared astronomy from aircraft was first conceived in the 1960s by Dr. Michael Bader of the Ames Research Center in California and by Dr. Gerard Kuiper, an astronomer at the University of Arizona. One of the problems that Kuiper investigated was how our solar system formed out of a clump of interstellar gas and dust. His research is carried forward in the observatory that bears his name. For the Kuiper Airborne Observatory is often used to study stellar nurseries, places where stars and most likely planets are formed. The Great Nebula in Orion is one of the closest star-forming regions, only 1,500 light-years away. Here, we have an intimate view of star birth. Uh, Orion is one of the most familiar constellations in the uh, sky in the late autumn and the winter. Uh, most people can uh, identify it. Orion the Hunter, a prominent feature is the belt, and hanging down from the belt, is Orion.